Owen, you and the other boys said that England were ready for this match, ready to start playing. It, the result would seem, and the margin of it, would seem to indicate that perhaps you weren't quite as ready as you thought. Yeah, perhaps. Um, which is disappointing within itself. Probably the most frustrating thing is that we made errors that we haven't been making this trip. Um, and again, Australia played well, but we, we had opportunities to take the game to them and we didn't take them. I mean, they were superior, you'd agree, I think, in all departments today. Do you know why that is? Is it just because they are the better team? Oh, I think certainly today they, they were the better team and they played, they outplayed us, um, every department, um, right from the start, which is disappointing. We sh again, we showed glimpses of what we can do, but again, frustrating things that we've been doing for this, this last month um, let us down. Your own form, you said you weren't too concerned about it heading into this match. Are you more concerned about it now, or how do you feel? Uh, after that dismissal, I don't think so. No, I, I toe end a pull. It's probably held up a little bit in the pitch. It's not ideal getting out and getting naught. Um, but no. Owen, can you run us through what you understand happened at the end there um, with the run out? It seemed like there were umpires uh, that wrong. We're still waiting on a clarity. We're going to speak to match referee and stuff. I've come straight from um, shaking hands. So, again, my understanding of the rule, I can't say it because, again, it can't be, uh, I'm not sure if it's right is the best way to say it. So we're waiting on clarity. And Jeff Boycott's been uh, critical of you and, and the team recently. I, I, I imagine that's fairly unhelpful at this time. Jeffrey tends to be critical 24-7. Um, and I, I actually don't know if people, well, certainly people within the team, uh, it falls on deaf ears. I mean, when you go through an experience like that, obviously you talked about being outplayed. I mean, it's, it wasn't a be-all and end-all game, but to come back or regroup, I mean, you're still quite new to the job. How, how do you sum up that challenge for you? Um, I, it's not a big challenge. We said that the first two games of the tournament would be the toughest in our group, um, and to come out of them with results would give us huge confidence. And we're still at that stage. Um, we're still focusing on getting to the quarterfinals and, again, building as we get... As um, the further we get into the tournament. Um, as regards to Friday, we'll regroup, assess what we've done wrong and, and can improve on before then. Um, but certainly, first protocol is, is to turn to senior players and, and ask them to lead from the front. Um, I mean, when you, when you have a bad run like you're going through at the moment, do you have to try and convince yourself that you're not out of form? You know, do you have to sort of mentally think, no, I am, I am OK here? Or um, I think well, I'm quite honest with things normally. Um, and if I was, I, I, I'm, I'm a nick off candidate massively. And if I was nicking every ball that I got, I'd be worried. Um, but I'm not, I'm getting out in different ways. And um, again, moving forward, I'll be trying to spend as much time in the middle as possible.